And if you're into that, anyway, good to see you. Um, surprised, I wanted to do an unscripted uh, show. Lindsay, Lindsay, she's already joined me. Hi, Lindsay, come on in. I've just been having a whole bunch of uh, people post me on the last uh, video that we did on Thursday night with the whole price thing. And so I thought I'd just take a few minutes tonight and share it with you, but I'm going to wait for people to catch on. Kay Parker, good to see you. You're always hanging out with me, girl. Alicia Simpson, she joined me. You guys are already sharing some love with me. <laughs> Barb Horseman joined me. Denny Santino, Beko, you're getting ready to do the big deal. How's your hubby? I bet you he's just nervous as hell. Yeah, hey, MC2. Tina Singler, she's in the house. Hello. She says, hello, let's see what you have for us tonight. I'm telling you, Tina, there's like a whole bunch of people that have started, you know, uh, putting their comments in my personal message, their numbers. So I just thought I'd take one tonight and do a follow-up to the last uh, Thursday night thing. Holly, you're here. Good to see you, Holly. Good evening to you, girl. Brandy, hey, Brand, good to have you. <laughs> oh, it's filling up. Denny's back. What, the hubby's in the pool? Okay, okay. Barb, wouldn't miss this. I wouldn't miss you either, Barb. I love hanging out with you guys. Jackie Fuller, you're back. Jackie, I have your numbers, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through it, but not tonight, right? I'm, I'm going to save you for another time. Megan Blaze, just left Summit Class with Dave Kirby. No way. Nashville, you got to be with Nashville with, I think uh, DK did some uh, so, uh, world-class Summit uh, stylist training today. Who else is in the house? Monica, good to see you, Monica. Um, anyway, while we're waiting for more people to come in, CJ's here. Hey, CJ. Hey, Mr. Cole. Just call me MC. I, I'm just that. That's all you need to do, CJ. Good to see you too. Um, anyway, remember last Thursday we did that whole thing on pricing. Well, it blew up my page, and there's a whole bunch of you that started sending me your numbers uh, in my comment box. So I, I wanted to take, I figured I'd do one tonight, and I just, because I just flew in this morning from San Jose, California, I was with Sorelli's salon, it was a closed session, we did some more pricing, I thought I'd give you one tonight, I'm going to see if I can hang out with you tomorrow morning, do one on Tuesday morning, and then maybe do a couple more between now and Thursday TNT, but before we do, I'm just, there's a whole bunch of people joining me, Lori's here, Leah's here, Amber's here, Maureen's here, um, good to have you guys. Sarah just joined me. Oh, they're sending me love. You send me energy. You send me love. You know, you send me the wows. I just love all that. So you ready to go to work? Let's go to work. Um, I have, there was like three, uh, three numbers that were sent with me and I thought I'd take one tonight. And the person I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, honor confidentiality, right? And so I'm just going to say her name is Holly. I'm not going to give her last name, but she gave me the number. She sent me the numbers and I have them right on my flip chart here. So I'm going to turn around, right? And first of all, she told me that her average ticket is $56, right? And, and so I, that's not good. That's not bad. That just is, right? And then she said that her, what she's charging for a woman's haircut is $37. And what she gets for a single process uh, color is $46, and then what her typical add-ons, probably a chem shot, maybe, I don't know, deep conditioning, uh, uh, maybe it's an eyebrow makeover, who knows, but it's it's $18. So what I did, because Holly, uh, Holly was saying, based on my prices, when can I raise my prices? Like, what do I need to do on a monthly basis or even a weekly basis on dollars before I really have the readiness to lift my price. So if I was coaching Holly, she's out there somewhere. Sue's in the house. Brian, good to see you. Karen, Allison, Sora, Tammy, all you guys are joining me. I'm going to get back to my my uh, my, my work so I don't get, a, a, you know, ADHD on steroids. Uh, so what I did is I took Holly's $37 haircut and I multiplied it times 90. And and I could that could have been 80, that could have been 100. I just picked 90 because it's a nice little metric. And when I and I already did the math, so I didn't have to screw around tonight. So the number I get when I go 90 uh, haircuts times what she's charging for a haircut, which is $37, is $3,330. So that's just a number. So I don't want you to make too much of the number. And then I took 25 colors and I multiplied it times 
for $46 uh, single process color price, right? And that comes to 1100 can you see that, and $50. And then I took her add-ons, which is 18 and I, and I multiplied that times 30 add-ons. And these are all monthly uh, targets that, that kind of shoot for it. Helps me get a number, right? And that's 540 Then what I did was I took these three numbers... I took 3330, 1150, and 540, and I just added them up so I got one number. The essence of genius is simplicity. So I'm trying to get this all done, simplified to one number, one service number for the month. And that number comes from, in Holly's world, that number would be $5,020. I hate odd numbers, so I'm going to round it off to $5,000. If I was coaching Holly, I'd say, Holly, let's keep it simple. Let's just round it off to about 5000 You need to do about $5,000 a month in service before you would be ready, uh, have the readiness to even consider raising your prices based on what you charge, right? And if you wanted to, you could break that down. A lot of you like to think about the week. So all you need to do is take $5,000, divide it by four weeks, because 5000 is for the month, and that'd be about $1,250 a week. So now at least Holly would know, okay, I get it. When my weekly service total isn't around $1,250 a week, that's one indicator that I'm getting close to uh, earning the right to raise my price. So far, so good. And I always like to take the product number, the retail number. Actually, just for kicks and giggles, Hal, why don't you just take the, the 5000 and you multiply it times 15% or 0.15, and it's going to give you a retail number that looks like it's about $753. I hate odd numbers. So I'm going to round it off to 750 So I'd say, okay, Holly, five grand a month in service or twelve fifty a week, and... $750 a month in retail. What if you break that down? Is that, what is that, about 175 ish in product? And when the overwhelming majority of those two numbers is coming from request clients. Now, this is important. Request. Request means a client I've done before and they're requesting me. They're a repeat request. Or it could be a new requests. They requested me, but I haven't done them before. Sometimes we'll call those those uh, clients uh, referrals. Got it? So when the overwhelming majority, 80 or 90 percent of those, those two numbers are um, request clients, you have the readiness to raise your price. Now, you might lack the willingness. You might have be fearful about it, and you're uncertain. You're going to lose some clients. I don't want to have that conversation tonight. We're going to save that for another, but I just wanted to give this example. Now, I'm not going to give you any more math. I'm not going to give you any more content. I just wanted to give you a little bit to get you going. And then what I thought is anytime you guys send me your numbers, I will coach you on a Facebook Live. I, I will uh, honor your anonymity. In other words, I won't tell people your, your last name. I'll just use your first name because you know who, who you are because I don't want to be giving people your numbers. But at least now, everybody saw what I did, and I'm hoping... That if you're joining me for the first time, you will look at your numbers and then benchmark that. So far, so good. So I got one last point I want to give you. I want you to look at what I did because I always like to break the goal down to see how many clients I'm going to need to hit my goal. So the, the, a real simple way of doing that, look, I took your your uh, monthly service dollars, which is about $5,000, and then I took your average ticket, Holly, and your average ticket is $56. So what I did is I took your 5200 and I divided it by 56. That would mean that at a $56 ticket average, you need 90 clients a month. And these 90 clients could be repeat or could be referral, and so you can be, I'm, I'm going to be talking about uh, using the power wheel when your clients are in and touch points and, and getting them to rebook and getting them to, uh, you know, upsell them. But the other is we're going to be talking about using social media to give, to get you some of your referrals or some of your repeat clients that maybe you haven't seen in a while and they liked your, either your business page or they friended your friend page. We what we can start sending those people to have them come in 
uh, sooner than they would have otherwise, or their referrals. Uh, you know, maybe they're friends of the clients that are you friended their page, but they're not your guest yet. We're going to show you in social media how to go out and get them. Isn't that cool? I'm going to stop a second. A whole bunch of people have been joining me. Carla, Carla Glenn, Jason, good to see you. Larry B, Sandy B, P, Tina, E, S, e, S Larry Bragg. Larry, for how long? What do you mean for how long, Larry? How many months do you... Oh, um, I, I go like uh, probably, if you wanted to place it, about three months. So, you know, um, if you hit those numbers, if you m met or exceeded those numbers for more than three months, uh, three months or more, you're good to go, man. Now, some of you are going to compare the numbers that you have at the end of the month to this, and you go, whoa, I'm way over those numbers right now. And I'm saying, yep, that means you're way overdue for a price increase. Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, I just love these of you guys on FB Live. Anna, good to see you. My eyes are on 4AA. Oh, you got to be coloring anything that moves. You're a freaking ninja, uh, Annie. And uh, let's see, Kelly, what did you say? I am so thankful for you. I'm a 50% from last year, four months straight, over a thousand dollars in retail. That's Kelly. Good to see you. Larry Bragg said, yeah. So I, I answered your question, Larry. Uh, Abigail, love your enthusiasm. Well, I love it when you hang out with me, girl. And then you you are just amazing. Keep doing this, please. I'm going to keep doing it. This is where I'm going. Facebook Live and me are BFFs for life. I'm building a, a, a Facebook Michael Cole Live television studio in this house that I'm building. So in the basement, in the cellar, it's a studio so I can talk to you every freaking day on FB. Isn't that cool? Um yeah, Larry's back here. You're happy, aren't you, Larry? Because you, I'm, I showed you how to make some money tonight, right? Uh, and Susan's saying, I love this. I love this too, Susan. This is so freaking cool. Um, anyway, did, so did you learn some things tonight? So how about if I do one more tomorrow morning? On Let's see. Let's see if we can get together about, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll send a notice out tonight because I have... Two more stylists that sent me in their numbers. Or if you want to send me in your numbers, and what I need is your average ticket. I need to know what you're charging for your haircuts. I need to know what you're charging for a single process color and your average add-on. And then I can kind of uh, I can coach you live. I'm not going to be sending you messages all day in, in personal message. When I coach you, I'm coaching th uh, hundreds and thousands of people. I think like tonight we probably have a couple hundred people on uh, live with me. And when I did this last Thursday, I think there was almost 4,000 people that watched this. So if you're new to Michael Cole Facebook Live, um, Watch the, the, the eighth program. This is program number nine. And number eight, if you go to my uh, Michael Cole Step Up Over the Top page, scroll down, you'll get program number eight. It was the best yet. I think this one was actually better than the last one. But the last one was the best yet, too. So, anyway, uh, thank you, Michael. T Spa in Little Rock loves you. When are you guys going to bring me in? From the, at the T-Spot in Little Rock. I love going. Eddie Mahoney was on, is on TV tonight with me. Eddie, bring me in so I can start hanging out with those guys. Have them use their points or whatever, will ya? Um, yeah, Eddie said, boom, goes the freaking dynamite. So, Megan, uh, Letty, uh, how do I send you my numbers? Will you just personal message me in my FB, uh, personal message box, Letty? Uh, Leah says, thank you. You're welcome, girl. Patty King. Great job. Hey, Patty, you should be, you hang out with me every every time I do a program. So when I'm coaching people on FB Live, you should be putting it in your little silver bullet six shooter. And when you go back at HC, you can be teaching the, those uh, uh, HCers that you lead how to make big boom boom. <laughs> All right. We love you at Hair Connection. I love you guys, too. What's this say? Cynthia King. Thank you. I so I'm okay, and it's so hard. I'll take any help I can get. Seventeen. Well, then send me your numbers, and I'll help you for goodness sake. Hello, Kevin Lane. So Meg is saying he. She's saying you. Kevin must be one of your faves. See you in Denver in October. All right. Come to T Spot Kenosha. I'm going to be at T Spot Kenosha on uh, next Tuesday. I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm the keynote speaker at the summit there. 
So when I'm there, I always talk to the, stu- the, the stubers, man. I love hanging around with those young little millennials because they got their they got their mobile devices. They know how to do. They know how to work social media, and those are the people that are making forty thousand dollars in the first year after graduating from the Eastbon Kenosha. So uh, anyway, uh, you to bomb to Chris Richards. Hey, dude, I want to start sending you these Facebook Live videos so that you can put them on the Summit YouTube channel. I meant to give you that when I saw you in mini, and I missed it, so I'm going to try to figure out how to get that handle. I'll be talking to you. Anyway, Kevin Lane, somebody was bragging on you a couple of minutes ago, Kev. Woohoo! Good, good to see you. Melissa Young, hey, Kevin and Michaela. Now I've got all the Summit consultants talking to other Summit consultants through my FB Live program. Oh, my God. Michaela, what? MB is in the freaking house. I just, I just saw all you guys say hi to your daughter for me. She is, you and her are like, you know, peanut butter and jelly, baby. Uh, Kevin is the best. See, Kevin, they're bragging on you. You must be, are you giving them money or do they really love you, man? Anyway, uh, I want to, I'm going to stop jabbering. So between now and the next time I see, I'm going to see you tomorrow morning. I'm going to do this one more time because I want to make sure you know how to figure out your prices. Now, I know you're back there going, well, what, how, how long do I have to hold before I raise my prices again? I'm going to give you some other benchmarks, and I'm not going to do that tonight because I, if I give you too much, I overwhelm you. So here you go. Uh, good to see you all. I love all you guys. Join me tomorrow morning. I'll show you when I'm going to be on. Yep, you're sending me the love and your likes and the wow. So let's keep the party going. Have a good night. See ya. Bye.